just saw a baby black bear, which means the mom could be around. We're just trying to be loud right now. I got my little taser out. This is East Granby, Connecticut. And over the course of this week, I'm attempting to find all the secrets that this town has to offer. We're gonna find its best food, its worst food, its best trails, its best park. All right, so here we are at the worst reviewed restaurant in town. Uh, I don't know how, but apparently everybody gets food poisoning here. I'm gonna find a great fishing spot. It's like, I wanna have options when I wanna go fishing. This is a great option for a family because there's a park here and the kids can play at the park while you fish. There's a nice little pool here. I wouldn't suggest coming down here until they restock in March and April, but there's not a fish in the river today. I'm attempting to prove that no matter how small a town is, that you can find something amazing there. We're gonna go around East Granby this weekend. We're gonna find all the best stuff and we're gonna review it. And with any challenge comes some rules. Rule number one, I must find at least one five-star fishing spot. Rule number two, I must get at least three five-star photos. And rule number three, I cannot leave the town line. And for an extra rule, ugh, no matter how bad the reviews are, I must leave a positive review everywhere I go. So yeah, we're here at East Granbrook Park. The water is mostly see-through and I'm not seeing any fish. I definitely found the secret fishing spot. Check this place this out. This water looks great for trout. It's just not, not the right season, so they're all fished out. Oh, we got fishers coming out of the woods right now. I, I might have to check out that way. I'm gonna ask him if anything was biting. Anything biting up there? Oh, nice. I know this spot's all fished out. I was just checking it out. I've never been here before. Uh, oh, really? So right over there somewhere? Is there like a trail? It's like, it's like half a trail and then it goes straight up to the bridge. They're right there in that back corner by the grass? Nice. On the other side, it's like off the ground, so you gotta be careful going down. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, though. Damn. It's good to know, like, that there's still fish down here in this time of the year. I was like, because I, I was like, I was thinking it was all fished out. I wasn't going to come back, so I'm like, oh, really? It happens in the fall? Uh, yeah, beginning. I forgot exactly when. Late September, I think. Ooh. And then they do in April. Oh. Did you see those trout? All right, we're going down there. We're gonna go check that spot out. He, he said there's a lot of them. Whew. Thank God. Now I know about this secret spot. Not very secret anymore, but I mean, I don't get any viewers, so it's still pretty secret. Oh, whew. it's hard to get down here, but that's the point. Oh, it got loose. We had one. We're gonna go, this fishing rod sucks. But next time I'm bringing my rod, Oh, the fish were actually too strong here for this rod. I kept getting snug, and uh, her rod won't cast out far enough. This, this cute little pink rod. We're coming back for sure. Huh. Five out of five stars. Great fishing spot. Great park. Grimbrook Park right in the East Grimbrook. Bounce. Allie, come here. Thought you wanted a photo. Right there, right there. Farmington Canal Heritage Trail in East Granby. This portion of the trail, absolutely beautiful. Goes across the bridge and goes to that awesome fishing spot and side by side to Granbrook Park. So five out of five stars for this trail too. We're gonna come back and do the full length of it on our bikes, so. All right, so here we are at Domino's in East Granby the worst reviewed restaurant in town. Apparently everybody gets food poisoning here. I'm gonna test that theory out because I'm ordering a barbecue chicken pizza specifically to test out if it gives me food poisoning. Cause what better to get food poisoning on than chicken? Let's just read the reviews. Dan, I ordered a pie since I was feeling petty and asked all but one slice have pineapple. The old lady thinks pineapple is putrid. So I thought it'd be hilarious if I gave her a slice. What? But then I figured that'll show her. So they must've been fighting that day. Dan really hates his wife. He, he wanted to ruin an entire pizza because she thinks it's disgusting. That, that's pretty hilarious anyways the regular dine-in monday crew was there with an all fur coat and no trousers just making hell out of heaven while smothering salads with extra tomatoes and garlic sauce so it was a challenge to get tomatoes on my pie mr all piss and vinegar driver was like i'm so fast i can run around the world and punch myself in the back i could punch myself in the back of the head as he steamrolled to isuzu suv Another what in the f are you smoking the Dan? prime minister of sweden visited oh my God. washington today and my tiny little nipples went to france what did he just say? Check the prompter. Damn, I got food poisoning from this place and they didn't even give me anything for it. You guys are seriously, you guys are just bad people. I don't want anything to do with you. One stop. Lincoln says, this is probably the worst Domino's I've ever been to. I'm currently sitting in my car 
waiting for my pizza that said sh it should be done at 7 16 p.m it is now 7 43 and i still don't have it one employee came out and said one of my pizzas was messed up and they had to remake it well that would probably be the reason i hope one star matthew after a negative experience i proceeded to report this to their headquarters i'm very upset with this experience i called the store asking for a bread bowl and i was informed that they do not sell them so i'm going to test that out i really hope they have bread bowls because uh that was like one of the best things that I used to order from Domino's. I haven't ordered Domino's in forever, so I'm really excited to hopefully not get food poisoning. All right, so let's go test it out. Welcome to Domino's. Bigger slices, bigger bites. Try Domino's New York style. Domino's. Hey, can I put an order for pickup, please? Okay, uh, what's your name? Josh. What is it? Josh. What can I get for you? Yeah, can I get a uh, large barbecue chicken pizza? Anything else? Yep. Uh, do you guys have bread bowls? Yep. You do have bread bowls? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I get the Alfredo bread bowl? Anything else, babe? Cheesy garlic bread. Anything else? That's it. All right, 4130 in about 20 minutes. Awesome, thank you. It's it's 402 p.m. We got People 20 minutes. People say it takes like 45 minutes to get their pizza. We're going to test that out. Uh, 40 something bucks. That's pretty expensive for Domino's, if you ask me. Josh. Oh, card. That was fast. I'm pretty good about that usually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prove two of the reviews wrong already. We're gonna go home and eat and uh, do our final review. Let's go. Just kidding. I don't have food poisoning. Garlic bread. And last but not least, I didn't really expect to even get this. The bread bowl. Yep. Delicious. Well, not one review. Not one review has been right. I, I've proven every single one wrong. I've never had a bad experience yet to this date. Five out of five stars, Domino's. Don't let them deter you away because uh, they're wrong, like always. It does feel like the worst reviewed restaurants are just as good as all the other ones, if not sometimes better than some of the higher reviewed restaurants. It pays to, to try things, even if you read bad stuff about it. Somebody could have been having a bad day, somebody got one bad pizza. People tend to write bad reviews, but they don't tend to write good reviews, so that's why I'm doing this. Here we are at the Metacoma Trail, about to head up and see if we can find uh, one of the best views in town. We're not sure yet, so we're gonna hit the trails up in East Granby. This trail has the good view. Be very careful. This is where the loop starts. We can go left or right. Either way, we're gonna come back down the same way. Trail's a little tight, lots of bugs, but it's pretty nice and it just got thicker up here. So I really have no idea what to expect. Oh my God, this hill is sharp. This hill, we're cutting up through to cut out about a quarter mile of our walk. Oh, this hill is huge. The beautiful light in the forest. I love the way the light comes down on the leaves like what's left of the fall still all here careful don't break your ankle that blue arrow right there that's where we took a shortcut and that white arrow is where we had the best view of the entire trip on our way back down granted the top had a great view but this spot actually had a better view and it's a lot closer so if you're looking for a short walk to get a great view meta comet trail you just follow this trail up to the right on that loop and you'll be in the best spot on this whole trail in my opinion Had a great view of the river and the town, and I can't recommend it enough. I know we're on the right trail, but it did just split. So if you're heading out to this trail and you haven't been in town, definitely want to want to get a map from the a trail app. I'm using all trails, really good. If you don't know where you're going, you could get lost out here. So very nice trail so far. Lots of bugs, way too many bugs. The top definitely had some impressive views, but something was following us. We didn't find out until I took my last five-star photo at the very top. We're at the top. I was way wrong before. 
and it was something big, because I could hear the rustling of the leaves, and it wasn't human footsteps. Oh my god, we just saw a freaking bear. We're gonna go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We just saw a baby black bear, which means the mom could be around, everybody. We're just trying to be loud right now. I got my little, at the very top of uh, Metacomet Trail, East Granby. Everybody saw it. Babe, you saw the bear, right? You saw it? I knew I freaking, I was telling everybody, I'm like, I hear something big, I need to know the direction it's coming from. Just if you hear something in the woods that loud, that's when you just gotta be careful and make sure you're just not going that way. Seriously? Yes, we just saw it. It was almost on the trail. Like, we just came down from the top and it was in the woods heading towards the trail. The best restaurant in town. If you know if there's any other better restaurants or any good restaurants in town, let me know. The parking lot looks really full, honestly. Pasta on special was five out of five stars. Freaking awesome. You guys aren't lacking on the food here. Really good food at J and G's restaurant. We're here at TJ's Burritos in uh, East Granby, and we're gonna review it to see what all the rave is about. Keep getting notifications on Facebook that this place is the place to go, so we're gonna get a coffee flight and a burrito and see how they are. Not the best restaurant in town, but I'd say a little hidden gem, and if you don't know about it, you probably wanna check it out. The food here was really good. The staff was awesome. None of us cared for the salsa. I don't I don't know if it was just this day, it wasn't that fresh. I, I have no idea, it had a weird taste. Chips are good, salsa bad. Everything else was absolutely amazing. The flavors change every week. This is Lucky Charm. Pumpkin spice cold brew. Fruity pebbles. And cinnamon toast crunch. That's my guess. This is a good one. This one's good. Good. But they stopped serving breakfast at 11. I was gonna get the California burrito with egg. I'm just gonna get it without egg. Let me know in the comments what you think of TJ's and all these other places I've been going this week. This is really good. Can't wait to try it with egg. Then we got the Tito's flight, which was absolutely delicious. Kind of wish we got the margarita flight. Maybe we'll have to come back. Oh my God, five out of five stars. For sure. Five out of five stars, East Granby. What a trip. If you like videos like this, or if you just want to see the beauty that New England has to offer, if you uh, if you want to see the top photo spots, if you want to see me try all the worst food and the best food, I rate food, I rate towns, I rate trails, then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel because I have a lot more coming. Until next time, peace.